Hello everyone, welcome to the DIY Laboratory. Today we're going to look at three different experiments you can do in your home. And this month we have experiments with jelly beans, eggs, and peep candy. First are the jelly beans. For this experiment you'll just need two jelly beans of the same color, two cups, water, and vinegar. Put the jelly beans in their own cups and fill one cup with water and fill the other cup with vinegar. We're looking to see what happens to the jelly beans when they soak in these different liquids. This experiment will take some time, so let's wait 15 minutes and check on them then. So, my jelly beans have been soaking for 15 minutes now, and they already look kind of different. The vinegar is really hungry for the sugar in the jelly bean, so it's pulling all of that sugar and all that color with it out of the jelly bean faster than the water has been. Look how dark the vinegar is. What's kind of interesting about the black jelly beans is also, is look at all the different colors in there. It looks like there's some green and some blue and some purples in there. But I wonder what happens if we wait long enough because it's starting to happen with the water jelly bean as well. So I wonder if we wait long enough if they'll both look the same. So here's the cups after sitting for an entire day. They're looking pretty similar now, so let's take a look at the beans. Whoa! They look really different than when we started. It looks like some of the uh, outside of the jelly bean has come off, and it's almost turned entirely white. And all of that color and sugar are now in the vinegar. And the same is almost the same for the water. The skin of the jelly bean is mostly off, and the jelly bean has turned almost entirely white. That's really cool. What's really cool about this experiment, though, is that you can try it in different things. You can try putting it in maple syrup or milk or anything else. So try exploring and seeing what happens to the jelly beans. Here's a review of what you will need for this experiment. Pause the video if you need to. For our second experiment, we will be creating peep slime. Just as a warning, you will need a microwave for the peeps, and they will get pretty hot, so do this with some parental supervision. You'll begin by finding a microwave safe container like a mason jar or another glass container that you won't mind scrubbing clean. You'll also need peeps, cornstarch, and a fork. Put your peeps in the container, I use three, but you can use a lot more if you want more to play with and microwave them for about 30 seconds. It's okay to stop the microwave if they grow too big. You'll see that uh, my peeps got a little too big a few times, so I also had to stop my microwave so that they didn't pop over the lid. Once you're done cooking them in the microwave for 30 seconds, you'll see that they've fluffed up real big, so use your fork to kind of mix them together and see if it's a big fluffy mess. If they didn't melt enough, then you could try another 10 to 30 seconds, but don't cook too much in the microwave or else they'll turn brown and they won't be easy to play with anymore. Once you're done microwaving, fluff them with the fork and then start adding in your cornstarch. The cornstarch helps make things not stick together so much, so it will be great for our melted peeps, so that way they won't get stuck to everything I touch. The more cornstarch you add, the less sticky it will be, so be careful not to add too much because then it will be more like a peep putty than a peep slime. I added one tablespoon of cornstarch to mine, but if you feel like you need to add more, then go ahead and add another tablespoon or two. Once you think that it's got enough cornstarch and you think you've mixed it well enough with your fork, maybe try taking it out and mixing it with your hands. Again, it will be very sticky, so uh, please don't put it on the carpet or anything like that. Mix it on the table and play with it on the table. But when you're done mixing, you should have a big gooey peep slime to play with. After about 30 minutes, the slime will start to harden, so enjoy it while it's fluffy. It's also important to note that the only thing we added to this was cornstarch, so if you wanted to eat your slime when you're done with it, it's totally edible. Here's a review of what you will need for this experiment. Pause the video if you need to. 
last experiment is a really neat one that will require two eggs, two cups, a lot of vinegar, some water, and if you have any corn syrup, you can use that too. You'll also need a lot of patience as this could take two whole days of waiting. But let's start by putting your eggs in our own cups and filling them with vinegar. Now you have to wait an entire day. But after 24 hours have passed, you may notice something different. Once you take your egg out of the vinegar, you'll notice that the eggshell is coming off. The vinegar and the eggshell don't get along, and so the vinegar starts dissolving the eggshell when it sits in there for a very long time. It does leave the membrane, which is kind of like a thin bag that holds the egg together, still around the egg. So very gently, when you're taking the egg out of the cup, you can see how bouncy it is. Some of the eggshell may still be on the egg, and you can definitely wipe that off, because it is just the residue of the egg. But here is a picture of all three of it next to each other. The egg before it's in vinegar, the egg after it comes right out of the vinegar, and after you rub away all of that vinegar. Some people call this a bouncy egg or an invisible egg, but it definitely is very neat either way. But there's more that we can do with it. Now we're going to take the egg so that you have, and we're going to either put it in water or in corn syrup. If you made two of them, then you can do both. The idea is that now that there is no more shell there in the way, we can soak the egg in either the water or the corn syrup. Let it sit overnight, and let's find out what happens. Soaking bouncy egg in the water will make it get bigger, because there is no more eggshell in a way to stop water from going into the egg. So that overnight, all that water just soaks right into it. It may not look too much bigger, but if you put another egg up to it, you'll see how much bigger it actually got. Again, be very careful because this egg is being held together by just the membrane of it, so it might be very fragile. You can gently let it bounce. As for the corn syrup, the corn syrup does the opposite of what the water does. When you're putting the bouncy egg into water, the water is going into the egg, but the corn syrup pulls the water out of the egg. So the egg will then get uh, shriveled up and small. You just shrank the egg by sitting it in the corn syrup for 24 hours. One more thing, one of the other librarians asked me, what happens if you poke one of the eggs open with a stick? Well, with the water egg, water kind of shot out of it, but uh, I got a little too excited and gave it a squeeze and egg got everywhere. It was kind of nasty, but you can also see the egg membrane that was holding it together. With the shrunken egg though, uh, nothing happened. It was already uh, shrunken down, so it didn't really burst open. It just kind of was a weird little sack of egg. Here is a review of what you will need for this experiment. Pause the video if you need to. So there you go. Those are your egg experiments. I hope you had fun watching these, and I hope to see you next month.